Welcome back. Now on Bounce, before you hit the road for the holidays, you might want to give your car or SUV or whatever you have a once-over, a checkup, if you will. Greg Leftwich here to teach us how to prepare our vehicles before we hit the road to uh, hit visit friends and family. Of course, this is a busy time. Uh, you're here from Honest One Auto Care. That's right. Thanks for coming out on a Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's jump right in. First, you okay. say we should check our tires and the spare. Absolutely. Check in our tires. We've got an air pressure gauge. Make mm -hmm. sure your tires are properly inflated. Underinflated tires can be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, and, and also, you know, having properly inflated tires actually um, can make your tires last a lot longer. So proper balance and making sure your car is aligned properly will keep your family safe on the road. And, you know, I feel like with the warmer weather, we've been a little bit spoiled because um, it can sort of not let you know that there's a problem. Like the first time it got really cold, the little gauge came up yes. in my car saying I needed to check my tire pressure. And I wasn't going flat, but I definitely was not inflated to the correct pressure. Yeah, one statistic says a third of all uh, tires on the road are underinflated. So it's always wow. good to check it before you go on a trip. Absolutely. Absolutely. I also got to do a battery check. I recently had to get a new one of those. Absolutely. You know, you should always have your battery check when you have your oil change. Mm -hmm. Your auto repair center should do that for you. And we have a printout here that shows you, you know, if it's a good battery, if it's a, if it's moderate, or if it needs to be replaced. So when when they tell you that it needs to be replaced, you want to go ahead and get that done. Yeah, I didn't. Not so much. And then <laughs> Delano and uh, Sarah, one of our girls in the sports department, had to give me a jump one oh, night because I was ill prepared. That's Never right. again. Uh, and then windshield wipers. Um, windshield wipers are often overlooked as mm -hmm. well as our lights in our car. So it's always good to be able to see and be seen. So windshield wipers, they, they, they fray. They need to be replaced about twice a year. They're mm -hmm. fairly inexpensive, but as it, as it gets colder and we get some sleet, maybe some snow, yeah. you want to get that off the windshield to keep your family safe. And sometimes I feel like you don't really know how bad of shape your windshield wipers are in until it's raining or right. you're dealing with some winter weather and it's leaving those terrible streaks and making that horrible noise. That's right. You know? So again, when your auto repair center does your oil change, they should be checking this on a routine basis to make sure that you have your vehicle safe for your family. And let's talk about this emergency kit because when my coworker gave me a jump, I was in awe of the kit she had in her trunk. It included jumper kit. I mean, I want to say it included so many of the things that we're seeing right here. So break all this down for us. Absolutely. And you can pick up these at any, uh, you know, uh, Walmart or any, any mm -hmm. store. And, you know, you have jumper cables, which is always helpful to, to help yourself jump yeah. somebody off if, if you or if you get stranded. So a, a good pair of jumper cables is always good. First aid kit in your car, you never know if you're changing a flat tire. Mm -hmm. You may need a Band-Aid to, to take care of yourself. A good flashlight. Yeah, it's got and, some, you know, some gloves. It, different kits come with flares and markers, mm -hmm. and so it's always a good idea to have that. And in your car, if you're if you're going to travel, and especially going north, have a blanket in the car. Yeah. You know, Eric said it is going to get colder, <laughs> so have a. This have weather a, is an anomaly that's currently. Right. And and there's some bottles of water in case you get stranded. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I always forget is my, my cell phone charger mm, in the yeah. car. Yeah. See, I've so. been I've been known to turn around and go back for that. And then you know? a, one other advice is you know fill up fill up. When you're local because usually the gas is cheaper in your home than it is on the road. Mm -hmm. so. And and that is so important. Uh, well, were you going to do a battery test for us tonight? Could you show us how to do that? Or? Well, we, 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 we connect the battery. You okay, know, we you can show you that tonight, okay, but this okay. is what we use to connect the battery. It okay. takes about 30 seconds and it prints out one of these and it shows and you. It lets we you show know. the customer. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and for more information about all of this, go to WBTV.com, the web extra section under the homepage. Greg Leftwich from Honest One Auto Care. Appreciate you coming out on a Friday. Well, thank you. This is a lot of great information. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, stay with us.